What's going on guys? Ben here, player.net. Today we're taking a look at the ASRock X99 Extreme 6. Now back when I did my Z97 motherboard reviews, this was the Extreme 6 was actually one of my favorite that I did. It had some great features at the time and it also was blue, which was, well, that's what really set me off on it. Um, so getting into this one, as mentioned, it's the X99, so it's compatible with the new Intel Haswell E processors. Uh, the LGA socket 2011-3, all that fun stuff, DDR4, Ultra M2, so I mean this thing is quite the beast and it can handle a lot, so let's take a quick look. As we can see, it follows kind of the um, normal extreme pattern that we see from ASRock on the board. We've got their branding up in the top left, over in the right, if you can see it without the glare, which I do apologize for, it says Super Alloy. Uh, we've kind of got the yellow and blue X there in the middle. And then down along the bottom, it lets us know the model number. It's got dual LAN, Ultra M2, 8 times DDR4 RAM slots, which is just, whew, I can't wait to start enjoying some of that myself. Moving on to the back of the board, and if you can, let me see, if you can see it, uh, there's a nice image of it here. We have a bit of a specifications list here. Letting us know, of course, the chipset, memory, expansion slots, multi-GPU storage, RAID, USB, audio, and LAN uh, configurations and what we can expect from them. And it also goes on to give us a little bit more information down here about some of those features like the Ultra M2. Uh, of course, it supports the ASRock App Shop, Purity Sound 2, DDR4, Dual LAN, and all that type of thing. So that's always nice. There's also a bit more information towards the top here about the individual components that actually make up the Extreme Sick, which is the um, Nichicon 12K Platinum Caps, the Ultra Dual End MOSFETs, aluminum heat sinks. We've got the premium, what is it, 60A power choke, uh, the premium um, memory ally choke, and of course it's got sapphire black PCB, which is always nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just get this out. It comes with all the standard stuff. You'll get your USB cables, your I.O. shield, and of course there's probably an SLI bridge or two in there and a few other little things to help get you going. But for the sake of the review, I'm just going to go ahead and open the box up and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so here we have the ASRock X99 Extreme 6 in all of its glory. Uh, as you can see, it's got the very nice blue aluminum heat sinks, uh, similar to the Fatality series, except obviously just a different color. Uh, I really like the blue. There's a nice kind of little sparkle to it, and it really just does me quite nice. Um, it's, uh, it's just one of my favorites, to be honest. Now, of course, under this heat sink would be our X99 chipset, which is the new features of the motherboard, the whole reason all these new motherboards come out between that and the new Haswell E processors, which of course are on the LGA 2011-3 socket. We also have eight um, DIMM slots for RAM that can feature DDR4 up to 128 gigabyte at up to uh, 3000 plus megahertz in overclock mode. There's of course three PCI Express um, 3.0 X16 slots that'll run, yeah, that'll run at X16 uh, for crossfire setups and all that. There's also the um, two PCI Express X1 slots for a few expansion cards, um, RAID controllers, sound cards, that type of thing if you want. Yeah, um, there are 10 SATA 3 6.0 gigabyte per second slots over here. There are also two USB 3.0 headers here, which is nice. Um, means we can get a couple more USB 3.0s on our front panel if we so decide we want to. There's a nice debug LED here to let us know if there's any problems during post, so we can make sure to check those up, look up the error code in the book, and see exactly what isn't working right if we do run into any problems. We have our power and reset buttons here which will come in handy for overclockers or people when you first set the board up if you don't want to put it in your case right away uh, this will come in handy because you won't have to connect the power button to it or connect it to a case you can just go ahead 
And once everything's connected, hit that and it'll go ahead and turn it on. Uh, we of course have Purity Sound 2, Intel Gigabyte Ethernet, and as mentioned is of course um, ASRock Cloud and stuff. So there's a lot of nice features here. We've uh, again Ultra M2, which are those are supposed to be brilliantly fast. I've yet to get my hands on one, but I'm looking to do so in the near future. And that's pretty much it. This is just a quick unboxing video. I just wanted to give you guys a closer look at it, highlight a few of the features on it, and uh, just kind of get you prepared for the review that's to come. So please make sure to check back on Player.net for the review in um, the near future. Big thanks to ASRock for sending this out, and stay tuned for more content in the near future. Thank you.